Welcome to this little tutorial on creating a text effect using artistic text. I like to call this pillow text or bubble text. First, we're going to type artistic text. Then, we'll apply a drop shadow. And finally, do some adjustment settings of the drop shadow on the interactive property bar. So let's get started. Select the artistic text tool from the toolbox and click on the page. I'll type in my piece of text and now I'm going to change the font size. From the font drop down box I'm going to select my font and now resize the piece of text and I can either do that on the interactive property bar at the top or by clicking and dragging on one of the sizing handles I can very easily and quickly resize my text. The next step is to add the drop shadow. Again from the toolbox on the left hand side under my interactive tools I'm going to select drop shadow by clicking and dragging on the text as you can see I can create a variety of different ways that the text shadow is going to appear. I'm simply going to create a standard drop shadow on my interactive property bar I want my X and Y coordinate to be 0 and 0. I'm going to change the drop shadow opacity and I'm going to bring that up to about 80. This value is going to vary depending on the point size of your text and the next I want to change my shadow feathering. Shadow feathering I find effective anywhere from 12 to 15. I have it 15 and I'll leave it there. Next I want to set the feathering direction. Feathering direction for this effect I want to have it set to the inside. I'm going to change my transparency operation to normal and finally I'm going to change the color of my drop shadow to white. All I have left to do now is bring my drop shadow to the front. To do that, from the Arrange menu, I'm going to select Break Drop Shadow Group Apart. I'll select my Pick Tool, and an easy way to do that is simply tap the spacebar on the keyboard. Tapping the spacebar on the keyboard will toggle back and forth between the Pick Tool and the last tool used. I'll deselect the objects, and now Clicking in the center between the characters allows me to select my drop shadow, which is actually a lens type object, and I can see that by looking at my status bar along the bottom. Control Home will bring the drop shadow to the front, and there you have a three dimensional effect. Now, a nice little uh, trick about this particular effect is I can very easily change the appearance. If I hold the Alt key down and click on my drop shadow, it will actually dig down one level and will allow me to select the text in behind and now it's just a matter of changing the color that I want to create the effect. That's all there is to it and this was made possible using CorelDRAW Graphic Suite.